Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how do you write a case statement in a drive column in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how we can write a case statement in a drive column in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So in my D files location, I got a file employee.csv and if I show you the data in this particular file, so it contains person's ID name and the salary information. So the salary is like for an employee, it is 50. 100, 150, 200 and 300 okay so what I want to do I want to write a case statement and I want to add a new column and maybe I can call it as salary description so I got three cases that if the salary of an employee is between 0 to 100 then it should be low salary description of the column should be low salary and if the salary of the person is from 101 to 200 then it should come under the average salary and if the salary of an employee is more than 200 then it should come under the good salary okay so all these things can be done using a case statement so we will see how we can do this using derived column using the SSIS expression language okay so for example we can do this in the SQL server as well but because the data is in the CSV files after loading the data into the SQL server table we can write an update statement but if the data is very huge then the update statement will be costly so it is better that we can write this particular condition in the transformation itself so let me open the SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package and let me just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window because data flow task will be used to migrate the data and let me just close this particular file let me configure the data flow task because we are going to read the data from the CSV file so we will be using the flat file source here and let me configure the flat file source click new to create a new flat file connection I will call the connection as flat file and then I can browse the file so the file type is CSV so I will select CSV here I can click on the employees.csv and I need to click on open if you click on preview so data seems good here there are just three columns click ok ok now here we need to just drag and drop the drive column transformations where we can write the case statement so I can just connect the flat file source with the drive column transformation and then I can configure the drive column transformation let me maximize this and let me maximize the acceleration window because we are just going to add a new column so we can just simply start writing the case here so how I will write is that we can just drag and drop the salary here and we will start typing if salary is greater than zero and let me copy the column name again and if salary is less than 101 so this is the first condition that if salary is 0 to 100 then it should come as low salary okay so if salary is greater than 0 and if salary is less than 101 then it should be treated as low salary okay so I can write is low salary otherwise what should happen I can start a bracket and the second condition is that let me copy the salary from here so the second condition is if the salary is between 101 and 200 then it should come as average salary so if I started the bracket then I need to close the bracket as well and I will share this expression with you so that you can use it in your environment so if salary is greater than 100 and let me copy the salary from here and if salary is less than 201 okay so this is the second condition so if this is the condition then what should come it should come as average salary okay this is the second condition and now if this is not the condition then in the third condition what should happen I can start the brackets again that if salary is greater than 200 then it will be treated as good salary okay so I can write good salary here otherwise I will put it as empty okay so this is the thing so what it is saying it is saying that the data types dt underscore wstr and dt i4 are incompatible for binary operator okay so what we need to do we can just simply copy this particular code from here and store it somewhere else okay and let me just cancel this one just modify the flat file connection manager here and I need to go to the advanced and I need to go to the salary so I need to change the data type for the salary to the integer because we are going to do some comparison okay so the comparison can be done like if the value is greater than 100 or less than 100 or less than 100 so it needs to be done on a integer column so I can just modify it to 
4 byte sign integer and now I can click ok and now I can just click on this one click yes ok so this is good now now I can go back to the derived column transformation again and then I can just simply copy and paste this particular query into the expiration window so now this is good ok and now I will call this particular column as salary salary desc ok salary description and if you see the data type for this particular column is unicode string 14 ok but I want the uh, data type as string ok then what we need to do we can start a bracket again and the bracket and then we need to type cast here dt underscore str and the length I will want to put as maybe 20 comma 1252 is the code page for the string so now you can see that it got changed to the string 20 and now I can click ok and uh, I can write the result into the SQL server table so I can use the OLEDB destination and I can make a connection to the work database click ok from data access mode I will select table or view fast load and I can click new to create a new table here you can see that a new column salary description has been added to the SQL server table is create table statement and I will call my table as employee and now I can click ok if you click on the mapping so you can see that all input columns have been mapped with the destination column so that's good and you can click on ok now let me execute the SSIS package so it should insert the data from the CSV file into the SQL server table and a new column salary description should be added as per the R rule this one like either it should be low salary, average salary or good salary so let me select the data from the employee table order by salary ok so now you can see that according to the salary 50 or 100 it's low salary then for the salary between 100 and 200 it's average salary and then for the salary where it is greater than 200 it is good salary so this is how you can write a case statement in the SSIS expression ok so and I will share this particular expression with you so maybe you can use it in your environment yeah so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much